All right, what's going on everybody? So this is kind of like an unboxing and actually putting it together. Um, I'm gonna be going over the tourniquet bracket. This is from Century Fuge and I'll put it down at the uh, at the bottom. This is what you get with a set of screws. Uh, you have to have a Sapphire Line holster, so I'm gonna be doing it to this one. And then you also need to get a tourniquet pouch. Uh, you actually gotta get the 1110 pouch uh, for this thing to work. And of course, you need a uh, tourniquet. So why should you get this? Um, this is good for if you want to carry multiple tourniquets um, on you so you, there's always one right there it's accessible with both your hands this is also good for those who have really tiny waist um, you, know, you know if you're rocking a uh, 30 inch waist and you have your gun taser uh, pepper spray handcuffs like all that stuff your radio your flashlight you may not have a lot of room on your belt to carry a tourniquet so this gives you the ability to actually have a tourniquet on you since it's gonna sit right there and still be able to uh, have everything that you need on your belt. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's how I wanna take this video. I wanna take this video from start to finish. Um, I wanna see if I can figure this thing out. It doesn't come with instructions, so I'm going based on what I saw on the uh, pictures. And uh, I think that I have to uh, put this on first, which is the 1110 pouch. Let me go ahead and figure out how to take this off. <laughs> stress stress all right so three screws in the back right there um this is why i like the multitasker because it comes with this the only thing i don't like about this is that sometimes it can uh, come undone and then uh you go and uh it, like I, I have it in a backpack and uh those things will be out of there because it's kind of flimsy but uh it's so easy to uh keep that in your bag with all those and um, if you have never seen the uh, multitasker, I'll show you guys in a little bit some of the stuff that you can actually do with it. So take those uh, three screws out. Something fell on the inside. Alright, so that's that. And... There's the inside stuff, so I'm not going to need this anymore, so I'm going to put this to the side. Um, and then just talking about this right here uh, for the multitasker. This right here is for your uh, aim point, so you can actually use that to uh, if you need to make any adjustments on your aim point. Uh, this side right here comes with uh, like carbon cleaners and all that stuff. And then my favorite feature of this, let me see if I can find it, is that you get this right here. So for those of you guys running a uh, front side post, this makes it so much easier because all you got to do is go ahead and do that, adjust, get whatever, uh, you know, whether you need to go up or down, and then that's it. So back to this. So I'm thinking that this side, since it's curved, it's going to go around the bottom of the holster, and this has to go somewhere here. All right, it looks right. Now the uh, the tool or the packet that you get from Centrifuge comes with uh, this piece here, this set of screws, comes with this, and then it also comes with that. My guess is that I'm probably gonna need to use the screws that, that I took out initially. So let's go ahead and do that. I think it's on right now. Like that. And I'm all over the place. Alright, so there and there. Alright, so we got one in. Now we got three screws. And I'm using the original screws uh, that were on the um, on the actual TQ uh, 1110 pouch. 
So I got that one there. Put the backer. Alright guys, so I'm not really sure what happened. It just kind of stopped recording. But uh, here's what I've done so far. So I got all three screws in there. The original screws. I took the screw that was going from this side of the holster to this side. And then I also popped the piece. I think this is called the barrel plug that was in here. And the reason why you want to do that is because um, if you have that in there, you're not going to be able to flex this to the point where you can actually get the screw in there. And it's not going to affect the draw. Um, so... What you have to do now is, what I recommend that you do, is put the bottom part in first. So take the long screw, put it through there, there, and then flip it over to the other side. Now here is where it gets kind of tricky, right? So you guys can see right there, obviously make sure that they're aligned, and then start screwing it in place. So like right now, I got to screw in a little bit or give it a little bit of bustle um, in order to uh, to make it work. So, but it's in now. All right. So now what I have to do, I did it way too tight. So I'm losing that a little bit. So it gets me some play. Take this screw off. Take that out. And then now I'm gonna have to muscle this up here as well. Align the holes. Yeah, up the other side. And then just screw it in place. So, all right, so there it is. Now I have a tourniquet pouch right on my gun. Wherever my gun goes, my tourniquet goes with me. And it's gonna give me some room on my belt um, to the point where now I can actually carry two tourniquets. But I know some of you guys that are running 30 inch weights with everything that you need for work, it's gonna be really hard to have a tourniquet on your belt. So now the, this gives you an option to still have a tourniquet and uh, everything that you need for work. There's my tourniquet. If you guys haven't seen my video about the times, strap all the way across my instagram make sure you guys check that out and let's go ahead and put it in there and there it is so that's the final product right there holster tourniquet it's not going to get in the way and there you have it hey right, guys so here's the final product i got my north american uh rescue tourniquet i got my 1110 pouch the uh tourniquet bracket from Centrifuge attached to my Safari Land holster. It only works with Safari Land holsters. Um, and I think it only works with the 6000 series, which is this series right here, which you guys see as far as holster wise, not the 7000. Um, one thing that I've noticed, and it's something that I'm probably just gonna have to play a little bit more with, is the, uh, the hood doesn't go all the way forward. It stops uh, right here at the tourniquet, but it's not affecting my draw. So I'm probably gonna have to go ahead and play with the uh, with the actual folding of my tourniquet to a point to the point where it's not gonna, you know, my hood's gonna go all the way forward. But uh, other than that, that's it, man. So you guys see how it looks? Looks pretty legit, right? Um, thank you again, everybody, for all the support. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to be posting more videos like this, unboxing and kind of putting the gear together um, and then just kind of going over other things such as what does it take to be SWAT, uh, things that you might see as a rookie cop, things that I've encountered, things that have helped me uh, get to where I'm at today. So again, thank you so much. If you guys have any questions or anything, uh, go ahead and comment below. Also follow me on Instagram for uh, gear giveaways and don't forget to check out the highlights on my Instagram for uh, codes for a lot of different things. So take it easy. Until next time.